Hi everyone, Angela here. It has been like two or three months since I did a houseplant tour. So today is the day you guys are going to get to see an update on all of the beautiful indoor houseplants. Um, I have a bunch outside, but we're going to just go over the ones that are inside today. All right, here we go. All right, so you guys know that I do these um, videos during my lunch hour and the dogs are always so happy to see me home. So sorry about that, but here we have um, the Hartley Philodendron. I got this from Lowe's and I saved it last summer and it was like near death, but it is trailing like a queen. I'm gonna have to propagate it again. I'll show you the cuttings that I've already done. Here's one of my Sansevierias, looking good. I moved everything around just yesterday because you guys know I do that like every week. Anyways, here's what that purple ripple or ripple peperomia, um, it almost died and then I brought it back to life. So it's living. <laughs> we'll see for how long. <laughs> um, over here we have um, the Sansevieria starfish, right? Looking good, the boys' artwork. Um, you guys know like this is um, something that needs to be hung on the wall. Guys, okay, here's the fun one. So I remember I bought this thinking that it was like a really cool bamboo. <laughs> Turns out it's uh, just a variegated dracaena, which I really suck at, but all the leaves were dying off and I was like, why am I not keeping this alive? Well, duh, Angela, the leaves have to, to die off so that the stalk can continue to grow so you can continue to weave it. I'm such a fool. So anyways, I cut off all the dead leaves, I watered it again, and it's and I re-wove like wove it, um, and then I tied it off, you can see right there. Anyways, it's alive. Look at all the flies. Don't judge me. Um, okay, my money tree is looking really pretty. I got a new leaf coming in. This was either a Mother's Day or anniversary gift. I don't remember. Look, there's the dead one. Don't tell my husband. Okay, so here's some propagation updates. Here's my Monstera. Looking good. There's my whale fin, shark fin, whatever it's called. I never remember right there and it's baby which is like as tall as it now except it's so curved if you know why that's curved and if I can fix it let me know I think maybe it had an issue with not enough sunlight I don't know when it was when it was growing anyways it's doing that uh, but yeah come over here see what I have I just moved these my grow light died so if you guys have any tips for grow lights that don't die let me know um, here are my, ooh, look how dry that is. Not doing good, my pearls. Um, gotta work on that. Anyway, I have a couple of these because they're gonna go in some, these are air plants, there's three of them there. They're gonna go, hey Steve, big boy. Um, I'll show you the display that they're gonna go in. I got them for my birthday for my brother. And then here are a couple of my peperomias, my frost, and my like burgundy purple ripple or whatever that one is. Um, they are doing so good. There's a little one over here that's still growing and I think the other one and this one died, but it's okay because that's going really great from one leaf that I propagated in water and then put in soil. So they are looking good. Okay, over here we have my Bantle Sensation, all of the dead grass in my yard. Um, but the Bantle Sensation is looking so good. I don't do a whole lot with it, but it's like so rich and creamy. If you can even see, the colors are so beautiful. I'm gonna knock it over. Um, here are all of the Hartley Philodendron cuttings that are now like growing nice extra little leaves everywhere. And then one little string of pearls. We're gonna work on that. We're not even gonna talk about my terrarium because we will, but it's a disaster. Everything's died except for two palms, two ponytail palms, and then my stay. Um, staghorn fern which is also not looking great so we'll come back to that on a happier day I got this Calathea as a gift she is stunning these are all new leaves as long as I give her water um, she does great I got this little um, digital like humidity Reader, I don't know what they're really called. I got this from Adele um, over at Life Paholic. Um, check her channel out if you don't know her. But anyway, it's been really helpful to see. I have a range of 42 to 82% humidity. Um, we usually sit at about 65. It's really humid in our house just because we're in Missouri and it's humid. 
Here are some of my air plants. Look at this. I got this from my parents in Hawaii. Um, and this super cool one here. Like, it's all curly cute. Look how cute that is. The flower died. Um, so I've left that hung off. But, yeah. Okay. Um, this was a cutting of like three or four leaves. And look how great it's doing. This is a silver satin pothos. We'll try to go faster for you guys. Here's my jade. Looking good. Okay, I don't know what else is exciting. We've got a little cactus up here. There's my Peperomia Ginny. There's my Peperomia Frost with the spider web, even though I just watered these. And remember, the little blooms smell like cucumbers at night. So give them a smell. I'm not crazy, it's the truth. And my aloe, which is like killing it. All right, in this cute little corner, we have um, my Macaulay's Finale. And someone said it might be a red imperial. I'm not quite sure, so if you know the difference, let me know. This leaf is already darkening. It hasn't really opened yet, but um, it's really gorgeous. And then underneath, I don't think it's gonna have enough sunlight under here, but it's here for today. <laughs> Here's my uh, Pilea peperomioid, or whatever they're called, Chinese money plant. It's doing okay. There's lots of new growth in there, um, but that was when it was under the grow light, so we'll see if it survives. This is my arrangement that my parents sent me after we had, I don't know, this, I think the second miscarriage, maybe the first this winter, I'm not sure. We're up to three now. So anyways, um, we've got nice lots of new growth from the Maranta. These are all new leaves right here. And finally, my peace lily. This is the first bloom I've had. So I, I didn't think it was going to bloom because um, we've had it, like I said, since... I think it was December. I think it was this winter, the first round. Anyways, it's looking so good. These um, are getting a little crazy. Kind of growing out there, but it's looking pretty. Okay, moving on. Okay, we're in my laundry room. Ooh, it's so bright in here. I don't know if you guys can even see. Yep, there's my water heater. So exciting. Um, here is my um, samurai. Yeah, my Sansevieria samurai. Just looking good, doing its thing. Not a whole lot. Um, here's my manjula. Look at that. This was like three leaves, and it has just gone crazy. This is a north-facing window, and it's so happy, so I just let it go. There is a vent right below, um, and he gets weepy if I don't keep him watered well. Um, here's my cylindrica. Right? Right? Okay, I'm not gonna stay in here long. Ooh, this is our bathroom. There we have one of my um, Sansevierias. I have my, what is that one called? Guys, I'm so terrible. Black Magic, Black Congo. <laughs> it's a philodendron. Uh, black something, I don't know. Anyways, I've got all of my ferns up here. There's my neighbor's house. Um, it's so dark in here. Here's my Brazil philodendron, there we go. Looking good, look at all those new leaves. We have a night owl. Um, we're in the last room. Here is the big night owl, star Sansevieria. I keep saying starfish, you guys. Look, there's another fly. It's so terrible out here these days. Anyways, that guy's looking so good. Here is my marble queen. She is a queen. Pothos, my manjula pothos. Here's my, ooh, here's my ZZ Raven. Treat yourself, birthday, April. <laughs> That's when I got this, back in April. It's looking so good. I finally have some new growth coming in. Um, I think it took so long because I like literally didn't water this. I think I've watered it like four times since April, so I gotta be better about that. But it is looking good. We'll have bright new growth on that soon. Um, and then here is the original, gorgeous. What is this? Uh, silver satin pothos. You guys, I'm so terrible. We've got a couple little crazy legs over there. And then here, um, we've got a new bloom on one of my Monstera cuttings. The other one was a gift um, to a friend. Look at my cute little family. This was forever ago. Look how cute they are, babies. Okay. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. If you made it to this end of this video, I'm sorry it was so long, but I literally tried to get all of the plants. And guess what? I totally forgot the other half of the house. So once again, we did not succeed in getting you all of the plants um, in my house. But one of these days, we're going to have like a mega massive, like 20 minute video maybe. <laughs> and we'll get to watch um, and see all of the plants inside. Anyways, I hope you guys all have had an awesome day so far. I hope it continues to get even better. Drop a comment below if you have any ideas for um, some grow lights for me and if anything works in just regular lights like just a regular light bulb if any of those work for you guys um, because I'm thinking that's the route I might want to go this time anyways have a great rest of the day and we'll see you guys in the next video bye